Now, Chief Meteorologist Sam Nichols with your weather authority forecast. We're here at Academy and we have been talking about what an epic turnout we have already had for our Midland radio programming event 2.0. and unbelievable. And, and we're about 30 deep in the line, but don't let that scare you off. What you need to be more concerned is a severe weather event and not being uh, able to get the alerts. Absolutely. And this of course is the, the famous 100 and that is the standard, the gold standard in alert uh, receiving Absolutely. ability and and Mike one of the things that I told you earlier I had a Facebook uh, question from one of our viewers that said Sam what about uh, people that are uh, deaf mm -hmm. and they are hearing impaired and he said Sam I'm uh, hearing impaired is there a way I can get a weather radio and set up for me because I'm hearing impaired absolutely we make a strobe light it's a red strobe light that plugs in the back of the radio. You can buy it on our website, and it goes off and it strobes very bright when you have an alert. So if you're hearing impaired, we've got the strobe light, and that works great. And it's a very loud radio for you know, people that aren't hearing impaired. It's quite loud. Well, and you know, that's one of the things that's real important at uh, two in the morning. And I, I'm the first to admit, uh, we want to be your weather authority, that's for sure. But at two or three in the morning, you may not have the TV that on. That is correct. Yes, yes. And you better have uh, two methods of receiving your weather alerts. And one of them needs to be uh, your uh, Midland radio. And we'll yep. be here till seven o'clock. If you have any questions about uh, receiving severe weather alerts, uh, come and see Mike. He's got all the answers, believe me, and uh, we will probe program your radio gets you set up Definitely. and it is some great security very good security like you said early in the morning you want to be woke up and this will do it this well, will definitely do it. And, and there have been so many instances uh, this year. It's just been an extraordinarily uh, scary spring. It's been a crazy year. Crazy well, year. And uh, we appreciate everything that you do and the way that you uh, are so patient with everybody's questions. And, uh, you know, uh, we all are a little sometimes overwhelmed by technology, but you Very walk much. everybody through it. Yes, sir. And if you have an, a radio that maybe isn't working anymore, bring it in. Let me look at it. We'll take a look at it. All right, well, let's take a look right now at, at our Texas satellite and radar and see what's going on outside as we have uh, getting ready to turn the calendar and get into uh, from May into June. As we look at the Texas satellite and radar, we have some storms in uh, far west Texas. We have a cold front that is uh, kind of being a, a little bit of a trigger for that. As you can see, some showers and thunderstorms uh, are uh, firing up around that cold front that is to our south and as that is uh, kind of the focal point some of those are fairly strong we have a in fact a tor uh, tornado watch way down in far west texas down by the big bend max live radar let's take a look there most of the rain and storms that we're anticipating tonight are going to be probably centered down around the concho valley and south of the i-20 area a little bit of that activity may be working its way into the big country later on you can see over uh, by uh, scurry county some of those may be slipping in there shortly 40 percent chance for showers and thunderstorms uh, this evening for the big country as far as temperatures let's take a look outside for our big country temperatures it's been pretty nice today of course it's been humid and uh, muggy across the big country it's 81 here at abilene winds out of the east at 13 miles per hour big country temperatures pretty much the same uh, with temperatures in the 80s across the board here on this thursday afternoon as we get ready to uh, as i mentioned turn the page and get into june it is uh, again kind of a muggy day which is what you could expect for this time of year as we get ready for the future cast, uh, rain and thunderstorms are going to be in our forecast for the next several days with a series of upper level disturbances uh, rotating through the area. We're not expecting organized severe weather, but some isolated storms are possible uh, for the uh, big country for the next few days. As far as a convective outlook for tonight, there's going to be a slight risk from say Robert Lee and a sliver of Runnels County back to the southwest. And then a marginal risk from say Goldthwaite to Brownwood to Abilene up to Kent County 
and that uh, is in that marginal risk area in the darker green, and then the light green is just a general thunderstorms. My forecast for tonight for Abilene and the big country, mostly cloudy with a 40% chance for rain and storms. Tomorrow, partly sunny and 82, and again, that 40% chance for rain and storms. Uh, Brownwood tonight, 64, 30% chance for rain and storms, and tomorrow, 81, mostly cloudy, and a little bit better chances for rain and storms, about a 50% chance. Seven-day forecast, rain and storm chances daily through next Thursday. Not expecting widespread organized severe weather, but we could see uh, some isolated storms that are fairly strong. So stay with uh, KTAB, your weather authority, and we'll take care of you if any of those do pulse up. But again, we're going to be here till 7 o'clock at Academy. Come by, get your uh, Midland radio, and we will program that weather radio and get you fixed up as we prepare for the summer season for severe weather. Stacy, it's been a wild and crazy time already, but we've got uh, plenty of radios and we'll get folks fixed up if they come see us. All right, thank you, Sam. Looks like a lot of fun out there. Again, they'll be there till 7 tonight. Well, in a story KTAB brought you on Wednesday, the state of Texas.